feels like we hear about new breaches almost daily. The bad actors are consistently looking for new vulnerabilities and recently found success with some high-profile companies. Any organization can be vulnerable to experiencing some cybersecurity incidents. Buying a privileged security solution but not implementing it according to best practices is like buying a safe for jewelry but leaving the safe open. Breaches can occur not because of any flaw in CyberArks or any other software, but can be attributed to the improper implementation of a security solutions or improper handling of credentials when they are in use in your environments. This video will re-emphasize the need to ensure that these credentials are secured and managed safely when used to connect via APIs, scripts, services, or applications. The following will outline best practices for you to follow for performing these types of programmatic actions. Never embed credentials in scripts or configuration files. Whenever possible, use Central Credential Provider, CCP, Credential Provider, CP, or enter the password at prompts manually. Having the credentials presented in clear text makes them vulnerable. It is a better practice to use CP and CCP using the get password command. Never leave credential files on the operating system from manual tasks. Tasks include uploads, data migrations, and bulk edits. It is better practice to create this file daily than to leave it on the operating system for an attacker to find. These account passwords should be rotated after each use so that the password is a moving target for an attacker. Always restrict credential files when being created. It should be your policy to create the cred file on the same machine the credential will be used. Restrict these to the operating system username and IP address at a minimum. Always use additional parameters where possible. This example shows the CPM service. This should be done with every component, including CPM, PVWA, PSM, PSMP, and all of the CP and CCPs. Disable all service accounts when not in use and always use the principle of least privilege to ensure the accounts only have enough privilege to do their job. When using the credential provider or the central credential provider to remove hard-coded credentials from your scripts, you can use attributes such as allowed machines, path, OS user, or certificate to authenticate the user to the script. In this way, we can ensure that the script is being run by the right person from the right machine. We also want to ensure that the CCP itself is locked down. Many Vault administrators create scripts to onboard new accounts. It is bad practice to leave the hard-coded credentials unchanged in these scripts. CyberArk recommends rotating these credentials after each use. However, better yet, we can use the credential provider or central credential provider to retrieve these credentials at runtime. In this example, written in PowerShell, the figure shows the CCP retrieval. Once this is retrieved, you can then pass this back to a script to authenticate to add an account. If you would like to know more, you may want to consider attending a REST API workshop offered by CyberArk in the future. Thank you for watching. We hope this video helped reinforce the need for good credential hygiene.